Take a look at the skeleton over my head. This is Tofu, a humpback whale. Have you ever wondered why whales are so big? Or why some whales, like humpbacks, are so much bigger than other whales, like pilot whales? I'm Dan Dindanto, a whale expert from the College of the Atlantic, and I've spent years studying the evolution of whales. Imagine I'm swimming in the ocean. I'm about six feet tall. A juvenile pilot whale is a bit bigger than me at around eight feet. A humpback whale like Tofu is 33 feet long, even though she's only two years old. How did Tofu get so big? The story begins millions of years ago when the world was a very different place. Sometime around 35 million years ago, Antarctica became an island. A free-flowing current swirled around Antarctica, changing ocean circulation, causing new patterns of upwelling. The Earth's temperatures plummeted, and the ocean changed dramatically. New food sources, such as small fish and krill, evolved in response to new, colder oceanic conditions. New whales were evolving, too, with new ways of eating. Like the chicken and the egg, we don't really know which came first, the new prey or the new ways of eating. But we do know from the fossil record that Yanacetus had a jaw that was shaped very differently compared to previous species of whale. This jaw was shaped like a sieve and allowed Yanacetus to capture small prey. By about 30 million years ago, Yanacetus disappears from the fossil record. A new whale swims onto the scene, Adiocetus. Because we only have fossils to go by, we don't really know what Adiocetus looked like. It might have been hot pink, or striped, or polka dotted. Or it might have been colored like modern whales and been gray, or black and white. Adiocetus must have looked like one funny whale to the other whales in the ocean. They all had sharp teeth, but Adiocetus had sharp teeth and a hairy mouth. That hairy mouth is the first fossil evidence for baleen. Baleen is hairy plates which hang from the roof of the mouth. It's like new biological silverware which allowed Adiocetus to take advantage of new food sources. Fast forward to the present. Baleen was a successful adaptation. Today, the oceans are filled with Adiocetus' descendants. There are 15 species of baleen whale and they span the globe. Baleen whales have three feeding techniques. Humpbacks like tofu gulp their food, while gray whales suck small sea creatures out of the mud. Right whales use their jaws like a skimmer. Toothed whales like pilot whales have to eat prey that's big enough to bite. Because baleen whales have a more efficient feeding technique, they're able to access more food sources. This means they can grow bigger. Because of the evolution of baleen, whales could evolve to be bigger to become the true giants of the ocean. Wow, 